Hello and welcome to my F123 Lamborghini My Team Career Mode. Here today for part 55 as we return to Paul Ricard for the French Grand Prix. This is the grid for the French Grand Prix and it is a all Ferrari front row headed by Charles Leclerc. Then it's Lewis Hamilton and Lando Norris, Pochera and Pierre Gasly, Stroll and Joe Guan Yu, George Russell and Yuki Tsunoda round out the top 10. Then it's the two Red Bulls headed by Max Verstappen. Ocon and Liam Lawson, Hauga and Oscar Piastri, Nick De Vries, Lindsay Fittipaldi, Albon and Us, Logan Sargent and Kevin Magnussen are on the final row of the grid. So we're here on the grid then ahead of the French Grand Prix and yes, we have had a stinker in qualifying. Fortunately the foot is corrupted so I can't really show you but essentially what happened was we had a wet qualifying and it dried up right at the end of the race. We were actually on provisional pole position and then the rain stopped, the track dried up and we completely mistimed it and wasn't able to get a final run in on the dry track. So that's why we're all the way down at B20. We're starting on the mediums, going to the softs. We've got to do a comeback drive. Can we do it like we did in Portimao? We're racing. Here in Paul Ricard, we've got a good start but we've had to slam on the brakes because the, the Alfa Romeo has been very slow there. We've only, we haven't actually gained anything at the start. We try to go around the outside of the house, up the inside, the bit of a correction of overs there. But we've gained one place at the start here. We're going to go to the outside of the Alfa Romeo, that brake type to stretches. We've gone off the track a little bit, we've gained on the Williams, we're now trying to go around the outside of the house again. The Williams is still there on the inside of us. We keep it bent round the outside, nearly drop it there. As we come onto the back straight, we've gained a couple of places at the start. Not many though, and we're going to be left vulnerable to the Alfa Romeo and the Williams, who will go wheel to wheel. That's allowing us just to pull away a little bit. Now though, we've got a good run there on the house. Go to the inside, the eyes is extremely wide, but can't find a way through. But we're gonna go around the outside too far back. And we've got to wait now on the final way pass. We need to clear this quickly. The Haas is one of the slowest cars on the grid. We cannot afford to be held up by cars like this. So we're going to send it late, catch and nap in, and we're past. And up next is our teammate Oscar Piastri. Been a while since we've seen him in a Grand Prix. We're normally miles at the road from him. But we're, and once again, down the inside. Job done on Piastri, catching napping. We're up in to P16 from P20 and Piastri's going back down our inside. It's too far back. He's on the softs, we're on the mediums. There's now a roll over the back of the Alpha Tauri of Dennis Alga. We need to clear these cars fairly quickly if we want to get a good result out of today. It's now Piastri's coming back at us though, down the back straight. He's on the inside. We're going to try and have to hold it around the outside of our teammate. It's not very helpful. You battling us, Piastri, I've got to be honest. But we squeeze him out, we stay ahead. And we really need to get this job done on the Alpha Tower in the head. As Piastri tries to do us around the outside, he's going to have the exit now off of the final corner to have a look but I think he is too far back as we go on to lap 3 but he's still there Piastri lurking in the background and we've got a poor exit off of that corner and Piastri is past us we're side by side down into the chicane he's back down with it he's too far back to do anything there and he's still here Piastri he's dropped back a bit now as we've caught up to the back of the Alpha Tauri of Dennis Alga. This is taking many laps longer than I wanted it to, but eventually we've closed it to, to the Alpha Tauri. We're going to go late to the inside, and it's job done on Dennis Alga. And next up is Esteban Ocon in the Alpine. Alpine falling off so quickly this season after where they were after the opening two races. If you go to the, the outside of, of Ocon, 
It's a drag race down to the first corner. We keep it pinned round the outside. Job done on the French Grenade. It's home Grand Prix. It's now next up is the other Alpha Tower of Liam Lawson. It's now getting closer and closer and closer. We're going to send it laid up the inside. Job done on the other Alpha Tower. And next up. We can go as this is Ocon. Ocon's got got the Alpha Tower in Alpha Liam Lawson round the outside. That's a great move by Esteban Ocon. It's now up ahead. This is Joe and Lars Stroll going wheel to wheel. Joe's trying to hold it around the outside. He's still got, got the exit. He's ahead of Lars Stroll. Lars Stroll's still on the inside. He's going to try and keep it in round the outside. Can he? It's now we're going luckily in the wings and we're going to send it straight around the outside and Max Verstappen catch him sleeping there on the exit of that corner it's a lovely move but now Max isn't going to let us get away with that he's got a great exit pulls to the inside he really overtakes us now it's a drag race down to the chicane with Max backs out of it Miles backs out of it when does Max Verstappen ever back out of stuff but he has there Joe has got past Lance Stroll and now we to the inside and a flat right hander job done on the Aston Martin and now Lance Stroll all oh, his contact between Stroll and Max Verstappen Max Verstappen tried to send it late Lance Stroll didn't see him and is there uh, front wing damage on that Red Bull is it the right now this is Joe and Bottas going wheel to wheel Further on in the race, side by side, Bottas tries to hold it to the outside. Joe has the inside line. This is allowing us to close up and Joe's past Valtteri Bottas there. And now Verstappen has overtaken Lance Stroll, so if he has got damage, it doesn't really seem to be affecting him. As Max Verstappen comes back at us, up the inside, Bottas still going at Joe. Bottas re overtakes Joe with kept Max Verstappen behind and now can we eye up the McLaren we're getting closer and closer to him we're gonna go to the inside like we did with Lance Stroll to the inside Joe keeps it pinned to the outside we still have that inside line Joe holds it around the outside but we get the job done and are ahead of the McLaren now we can get after the other Red Bull hopefully of Valtteri Bottas but that weren't the case we couldn't pull away from the McLaren we've lost out to Joe we may lose out to Verstappen we push Joe wide now Verstappen round the outside of Joe and now it's a drag race between them two we've pulled a small gap as Verstappen is he going to keep it pinned to the outside yes he is to the outside Joe still on the inside Will Max keep it pinned once again? Yes, he is. He's not giving up on getting past the McLaren. He has now the inside line, but eventually he has to back out of that one. But we just couldn't pull away off. I think we had pushed too early, early on on, on our mediums. Couldn't pull away from the McLaren. But us had disappeared up the road. And we're just left defending now. Joe, he thought he got us. We send it like back down the inside and Max Verstappen once again sees an opportunity but this time he has got the job done on the exit of the chicane and at the end of lap 12 those on the softs so Max Verstappen and Lance Stroll are both pitting then to go on to the mediums I believe and now right behind us Joe is doing the same thing we're going on to the softs Joe I think is going to the hards I don't want to touch the hards in this race who would want to do that so we're going to go slightly longer onto the softs we should then have the pace we may lose a bit of time as Joe's been held up there by those behind boxing I think he may have actually been held up by Piastri there as well so a bit of team play as Piastri comes out just behind the Alpha Tower in the background he actually really needs a good result for us as Joe comes out in a lovely bit of space there but as we're being out by Lance Stroll lap 15 now we've gone a couple of extra laps 
the, McLaren, the Mercedes of Lewis Hamilton is all over the back of us. But it is time now as we really stop to hit the marks and not speed in the pit lane to make our one and only stop of the Grand Prix if everything goes to plan. George Russell sets the fastest lap of the race and this is such a long pit lane here. As we go on to the sauce then to get us to the end, the last 12 laps of the Grand Prix, but where is those behind us? And they've all beaten us out. We've dropped all the way back down to P19. Those extra laps, we've lost so everything we've gained in the first half of the Grand Prix has been lost then. But we should have the tyre advantage now. Look how far down the order we are compared to where we were batting in. We're past the Williams though of Alex Albon. No messing about now, it is a full pelt risking everything if we end up in the barrier it doesn't really matter we're not scoring points at the minute anyway so we just have to full send it as now we have the grip compared to the Alfa Romeo on his heart to go to the outside next up is Dennis Hauger in his Alfa Tauri one car I didn't think I'd be seeing again today we send it laid up the inside at the final corner and up next is our teammate Oscar Piastri. Hopefully he won't make it too difficult for us. We are on the quicker tyres. As now this is Joe going well to wheel once again and this is Piastri going well to wheel with Liam Lawson. To the outside is all going up ahead. We've seen a chance to go round the outside of both of them at the chicane. What a sensational move if I do say so myself. They're still side by side. Is Lawson and Oscar Piastri. Piastri has the inside line. Piastri gets the job done. But most importantly, we've done both of them then in one corner. Let them battle side by side. And we've just gone clean round the outside of both of them. That's a great move, I do say so myself. Next up is the McLaren. Down the inside. We catch him napping at the final corner. We are flying on these soft tyres. It's a bit annoying that we've had to get ourselves back up to where we were originally. The McLaren are coming back at us as we go into the chicane. Next up is the Alpine of Esteban Ocon. Then it's Lance Stroll. And now we're on the back of Ocon. We're going to look to the inside. We've got the exit to go to the inside. Down the inside we go. Job done on the Alpine, now we can get after the Canadian of Lance Stroll, down the pit straight, we're getting closer and closer, we're going to go to the outside and we're going to keep it pinned round the outside to get ourselves up into P11, next up at the road is Max Verstappen in the Red Bull for P10, as further back this is the horse of Nick De Vries pulling over and slowing down to retire from the Grand Prix. Lap 25, we pulled away from those behind, but we just couldn't catch Max Verstappen ahead. Yuki Tsunoda now, Max has done the Alfa Romeo. And onto the final lap then, Lewis Hamilton is going to make it back to back wins in a row and wins. The French Grand Prix is also a Mercedes 1-2 headed by Lando Norris. So as we come into the final section of the race, we started P20. It's been a bit of a frustrating race. We could have been so much more, but at the end of the day, it's only going to be P11. Great race then and a fantastic victory here at Paul Ricard. So, Natalie, what made the difference out there today? Well, confidence breeds confidence. Success breeds success. They are very much enjoying a purple patch right now. Mercedes are on top form once again after an excellent race weekend. It's great to see them up on that podium once again.
So that's been then your French Grand Prix. Very, very frustrating for us in the end. P20 to P11. I really think we should have started on the sauce, to be honest. I think that's where we messed up on the strategy. Didn't really have the pace on those mediums. But it's a win then for Lewis Hamilton, making it back to back with Silverstone. And it's also a Mercedes 1 2. So that's a big slash in the constructors. Piastri finishing behind us. So maximum points apart from a fast slap for Mercedes. Charles Leclerc finishing for Ferrari just didn't seem to have the race pace in that race down at the back then the one retirement of the Grand Prix was Nick to freeze later on in that race Kevin Magnussen then the last of the finishers in terms of the championship then and our very big lead is dramatically being cut down the gap now 31 points to Lewis Hamilton big big points drop after two non-scores the DNF last time out at Silverstone and the non-score here today Piastri down in P8 for us very frustrating if we have a day like that he can't be behind us he has to be in front of us he really needs to find some form this season because he's having a stinker down at the back though still many drivers still yet to score in terms of the constructors then and that big lead we had a couple of races ago is now gone as after that one two four Mercedes we are now level on points with Mercedes and I think that's a big big blow I think this could well be the turning point in the Constructors World Championships unless Piastri really picks it up it's going to be very hard to fight the two Mercedes one-handed essentially if they're picking up one twos every weekend it's going to be difficult in that sense Haas the only team still yet to score this season but I hope you enjoyed the French Grand Prix the first time I've been back on the calendar since 2022 we go to Spa next for our first sprint weekend of the season I'll see you then goodbye